Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition, all the daily AI news you need in around five minutes. We kick off today with the latest funding rumors. In the wake of OpenAI's massive $157 billion valuation round, Elon Musk's XAI is looking to raise billions as well, at a valuation that, if not the stratospheric $157 billion, is still very high. According to Wall Street Journal reporting, the company is in talks to raise at a $40 billion valuation. The news comes just five months after XAI's previous round, which raised $6 billion on a $24 billion valuation. Since then, the company has completed construction of the Colossus supercomputer at record speed and rolled out multiple new features, meaning that to some investors, the jump in valuation is likely justified. The journal emphasized that the deal is still in its early stages, so is subject to change or abandonment. Musk's plans for the money are pretty clear. On a video call Tuesday into a conference in Saudi Arabia, Musk said, if you're training a frontier model, you need a massive amount of compute. On Monday, he confirmed plans to double the size of the Colossus training cluster by adding an additional 100,000 GPUs. Nikolai Yakovenko writes, Elon wants a true OpenAI competitor. And say what you will, but Elon's companies rarely fail to raise the money they ask for. The Elon Fax account, which I will let you decide what its likely bias is, pointed out that NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang recently said, Building a massive supercomputer factory in the short time that was done, that is superhuman. There's only one person in the world who could do that. What Elon and the XAI team did is singular, never been done before. Everard AI's Jay Azang writes underrated XAI and Google, accurately rated OpenAI, Anthropic, and Meta. And I actually think that the bigger point here is not so much the underrated or accurately related designation, but the fact that when it comes to frontier models, if you are actually trying to compete in that space, if you are an investor who has a thesis that the value proposition of AGI is going to be so large that effectively any price is worth it to invest in, these plus Mistral are pretty much the only way you can make that bet, which means that the price is fairly inelastic. Now, we had previously gotten reports that Anthropic had also floated $40 billion in its own funding talks, and my guess is that if Elon is coming anywhere near close to that, Anthropic's going to use that fact to try to go for something even higher than $40 billion making the argument that they are proportionally farther ahead than Elon is. Who knows, though? We will have to wait and see. Meanwhile, some interesting hardware news. OpenAI will reportedly have their own custom-designed AI chip ready to use by 2026. According to Reuters, the company has explored all options to diversify their chip supply and reduce costs, considering building everything in-house and raising capital to build a network of chip foundries. But now it appears that they've abandoned those plans due to cost and time constraints. Instead, according to Reuters sources, they are opting to focus on in-house chip designs. The plan will now involve partnering with Broadcom or TSMC for manufacturing while adding AMD alongside NVIDIA as a supplier. The first AMD installation will come through Microsoft Azure, who are using the company's MI300X chips. Those chips are not as performant as NVIDIA's H100s in training, but have outperformed in inference benchmarks. Sources said that OpenAI had already been working with Broadcom for months to produce their first inference chip. Currently, GPU supply has been bottlenecked by strong demand for training chips, but there's a chance that inference will become the scarce resource as more AI applications are deployed. OpenAI have reportedly assembled a 20-person chip design team led by top former Google engineers Thomas Norrie and Richard Ho. Sources also say that the firm has secured manufacturing capacity from TSMC in 2026. OpenAI CFO Sarah Fryer referenced the growing pains as the company learns to create its own data centers and chips during an interview earlier in the week, stating, It's definitely a stretch from a capital perspective, but also my own learning. Frankly, we are all learning in this space. Infrastructure is destiny. Salesforce, which is making a huge bet on agents, has finally released them broadly via their new agent development platform, Agent Force, to the public. The product is essentially a low or no-code way of building and deploying agentic chatbots for employees and customers. Salesforce outlined a key use case in a post highlighting the upgraded functionality, writing, Your customer at midnight asks, I need to change my entire order. Traditional bots say, I've created a ticket. Please wait 24 to 48 hours. Agent for service agent, order updated, shipping rerouted, confirmation sent, anything else. In a press release, the company said, Agent Force doesn't depend on human engagement to get work done. These agents can be triggered by changes in data, business rules, or pre-built automations. Now, Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff has recently become the leading voice saying that the assistant era was all BS and that everything is about agents which is clearly marketing given where they sit and a way to poke at Microsoft. But still, I think it's pretty exciting to start to see these agents actually rolling out in a real way. We'll soon be able to see a lot more about how well they work in practice. That, however, is going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition. Next up, the main episode. 